Steve. It's Steve. Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Avery at Tea Review and 2. Welcome to my channel. Today, I've got an order from David's Tea. We're gonna do an unboxing here. This channel is about tea and tea wear. Join me on this awesome journey of drinking a lot of tea and uh, reviewing it and walking through tea areas and tea tutorials and tea wear reviews and unboxings and details. Yes, anyways, let's get to this unboxing. This order, David's Tea here, we got my notes and Total price for this order $72.29. Total savings $78.57. Isn't it always great when you see the total savings be higher than your total amount that you pay? That it like, kind of like justifies it. You know, it's not justifies it. It almost like nulls it. It's like, oh, I spent 70 something, but I saved 78. You know what I mean? So, anyway, let's get into this order. What initiated this order um, was the Halloween release. So I guess it was about a couple weeks ago or whatnot, or a week ago, I don't know, the time is just flying. It's almost 2022, can you believe that? It seems like we're still in 2020 kind of, but with what's going, you know, what's going on. All this, anyways, got some Halloween items in here. So we're gonna get to those first, and then we got a couple other items, and we'll get to those, and which kind of could be related to Halloween if you name them differently. Anyway, we'll get to it. Let's get to the unboxing here. Some paper. Paper. All right. Oh, yes. Okay, I forgot about that. Yeah, I did use a reward in this order, so we'll get to that. Which tea that I picked for my reward. Um, so, oh, you know what's really neat? Okay. They have the boxes back for the mugs, the themed boxes. You know, so that was going on for a while, and then it went to just the plain cardboard ones, which is like, especially when you're gifting it to somebody, it's really neat to have like in the graphic a box like this that's just really like showing you know, a glimpse of what the mug is going to be like or something like that. So this is neat. This is the, you know, the castle mug. So they used to have this one before and then it went away, sold out or however they stopped manufacturing it. And so they brought it back and I believe it sold out on the website again that quick. I mean, this is a really neat, you know, I'm going to get up close and I'm going to measure it and all that stuff. And we're going to show the color changing. Yes. So you'll see how neat it looks. And like, well, I'm just really, this is awesome. I really like this box. I really like gray. I know it's like an odd color choice. It's probably one of my favorite colors. Or is it one of those colors like black and white? It's not really like a specifically like a color. Like I got another term for those. But anyways, so yeah, gray is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> but like, um, yeah, I really like the way this box looks. And I'm going to be sipping on this like year round. Not just, of course, more so in October, you know, things like that. Spooky season. But I'm not going to use it that much. You know how you get a mug and like you don't want to use it too much. You don't want to wash it too much. You don't want it to fade. That's I've had Davis Tea's mugs before that I've used a lot, you know, washed and everything. I try to be really gentle with that, but they start to peel a little bit. So I'm gonna scale back probably on sipping from this one because it looks awesome. But let's get actually to it. So gotta calm down because right now can you feel this excitement? <laughs> this um, the mugs were two for thirty dollars. So that's really neat. This two for thirty dollars deal for the mugs for the Nordic mugs has been going on for like a, kind of a while here. I feel like a couple months or at least a month for sure. Because I know I had yeah, yeah, at least a couple months because I had a previous order where I ordered some mugs and it was two for $30. So that makes them $15 each. And so regular price I believe is $19. And um, so yeah, I got another mug. Should have got two of these, honestly. Like now I'm thinking about it, like even just looking at this box, let's get it open. Oh, in the back here it says, inspired by Scandinavian design, our Nordic mug is clean, modern, and incredibly sturdy. With a lid that doubles as a saucer, it's the tea mug you've always dreamed of. Plus, the design is heat sensitive, so when you pour in your hot tea, the pattern changes color. Like you needed another excuse to refill your cup again and again, infuser sold separately. Yes, this is going to be okay. Let's get this open. They used to come with the infuser more often than not, but they kind of take that back. Oh, this is like Batman. <laughs> this is right, right on the front. You got the bat on top of the saucer. I'm Batman. Yeah. So you could kind of feel like you can kind of feel the outline of the bat right here. It's not just like smooth into the saucer, the lid right here. You could feel it. You could feel the outline of the bat. You could see it right there. Let's get to the mug. I just. I'm, I'm getting too hyped about the box. I'm getting honest, I'm getting too hyped about the box. I need to calm down about the box because I know what I'm going to like more than the box is the mug. Yes. Look at that. Doesn't that look ace? Man, I really like that gray. And of course, it goes with the black. And you got the castle that's gonna light up, you know, and everything. <laughs> kind of feel the outline of like the mountains, the house, the clouds, the bats. You can feel that going on. Not dishwasher or microwave safe. 
with these mugs right here. The clear glass one is, but with the color changing ones and everything like that, you don't want to do that. It says hand wash only with mild detergent, no abrasive sponges, do not soak, do not microwave. And the inside of it is white, like that. It's got the lid, goes on there, pretty much like all the other lids with the Nordic mug, you know, it goes on there. Keep the tea warm, keep it like if you're going to steep it with like the lid on it, or if you're just going to keep it like this after you steep it to help, help you know, keep it warm, keep it hot. So, of course, you can have that off like that, and you can even boom, sit it down like that as a coaster, a saucer right there, lays down. I know I better be careful with this because if I drop this, like you're gonna see some man tears, like it's gonna be sad. I should have gotten two of these, but we're gonna get on to the next mug, which is <laughs> with me already laughing. Some of you probably already know what it is because I were really curious to see how this mug looks with tea in it, with matcha in it. And the next up, we've got another Nordic mug for that two for 30 deal. We've got the clear glass skull Nordic mug here. And yeah, so once again, design on the box, very nice, great for gifting, great just for initial reaction purposes, I guess, or just goes with the theme of the mug. It's, it's, I like that they, they're bringing that back, it seems like, right here. So hand wash only with this one as well. Mild detergent, do not use abrasive brushes, sponges, do not soak, do not microwave. All right, let's, same, let's see, yeah, same description on the back, except for minus the color changing everything. This is not a color changing mug, but let's get it open here. And okay, we've got the lid, it's gonna be a clear glass lid. Do you see what I see? You know that song? <laughs> Why does that just pop in my head? I you just have songs that pop in your head. Even songs that you don't really like listen to normally, like or a lot of your thing, just pop into your head. Anyway, <laughs> whoa, got a little double wrap pepper on this. I'm like, where do I put this box? I'm gonna put it on top of the other box for purposes. So, <laughs> here's this, this call. This call is making me laugh already because the way it's shaped is like a, uh, you know, I don't, I've never held a real skull in my hand, so I don't know, maybe they're shaped like this or this, I don't know. I've seen a real skull, you know, like at a museum and things, but like, so yeah, but anyways, I, what I really like about this actually is really minor, I guess, but standing out detail, as you can see right here, is the black handle. I like that it's just not a clear mug, because see, I, I have the clear Nordic mugs, of course, they're my favorite mugs to use, in just in general, my favorite tea mugs, or the Nordic regular 16 ounce glass mugs, but I like that this is like a little contrast right here. You got the black handle right here. And so, <laughs> gotta look it up close and turning it around first and then we're gonna fill it up with the liquid so you can see. But I'm gonna pour, you know, just for purposes right now, I'm gonna pour this matcha that I got into this cup just to see, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna wash it out first and everything. Just uh, cause you know, I'm gonna actually drink the matcha. I'm not gonna waste it or anything like that. And let's measure the mugs and everything here. Five inches right there on the height, looks like top to bottom. And across, we've got about, look, almost three and a half inches across right there. And handle, top to bottom, about a little over three inches right there. I really like the handle size. Like it fits my hand. I don't have like incredibly large hands or anything, but they're not small, but it just feels nice. So that is nice right there. And the lid, it's gonna be the same across the top, of course. It'll be like about three and a half inches right there. And it has a little inlay that kind of curves in right there to actually like fit in there a little bit. So that's gonna be a little bit less right there, a little bit less than three inches on that part. The castle mug, of course, feels heavier. Yeah, definitely heavier than the glass mugs are the ceramic like mugs right here. So I believe in the high, yeah, still 35 inches right there. Still a little bit short of three and a half inches on top. So dimensions wise, it's pretty much the same as the glass Nordic mug right here, but weight, there's gonna be a different weight right here. And let's weigh these. So the clear skull Nordic mug by itself, nothing in it, no lid, weighs eight ounces. The back castle mug right here without anything in it, without the lid, weighs 15.9 ounces. So it's about double the weight compared to the clear glass skull Nordic mug right here. And you can definitely feel it. Like, I mean, it's not heavy or anything like that, but you can lift this one and lift this one and go like, oh, this is lighter, this is heavier for sure. But like, as far as the dimensions, they're the same. The clear glass skull Nordic mug only holds 10 ounces of liquid actually in it because of the way the skull is. And I'm gonna just pour my matcha in it right now just to see how it looks.
It's definitely giving me some spooky season vibes because this is a spooky looking skull right here. It looks like it's almost like a ghost skull or like a it's giving me like a very cartoony kind of skull vibe right here. Like something that'll be like in a video game of some sense. Like you know, like it'll be, you know, chasing you, like you know those Mario games where you're like you're in a hunted castle and like you gotta when you turn to see the ghost, you know, following you or whatever, they close their eyes and then when you start running and you don't look at them, they're like following you. This looks like some of you are like if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're like, what is he talking about? People who play Mario games, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so it looks like something on some kind of a video game or a cartoon or something that's like, that would be trying to spook you. And it's all, <laughs> it looks funny. But this is neat. I like that they did something different with the Nordic mug right here. And like I said, I really like the glass Nordic mugs. And you can still see your tea or whatever is in it right now. Right now, I just got the berries and cream matcha. And that's it, with water and some ice. And so <laughs> that's what you're seeing right here. Of course, on the side, you've been seeing different variations of tea in there, you know. So, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> this is this is neat. You know, this, I'm glad I got it. You know, I still wish I would have got two of the castle mugs, but I'm glad I got this. Like maybe I would have got like two of the castle mugs, like this one and another mug or something. But like I said, I really like the black handle right there like the mug the sunken eye part of that is really well done like it is has that like darker sunken eyes right there it's not I like it's not like that it's not just like poke it out or just like really like flat or anything it's definitely got the sucking eye sockets going on right there and it gets darker right there okay i was just kind of chugging right there because i just wanted to see how it looked half full <laughs> like a half skull oh yeah that's great that that's that's something all right, I was really curious how this looked in person. On the website, I got kind of an idea of how it looked, but I was really curious to see how it looked in person. I'm still glad that I got it, and yeah, <laughs> this is funny. So I wouldn't use the clear glass lids as a coaster, but the ceramic ones fit on there nicely. So one more Halloween item, and then we'll jump into the other items here. But we have the witchy Halloween countdown right here. This is like, look how vibrant the colors are on that right there. I don't, whoa! <laughs> Nothing in there is fragile. Well, there's one thing that's, man, it's not kind of, you'll see. Anyways, um, yes. So they have an actual mug that has like the ghost going on that light changes color and glows in the dark, which just looks neat. And I was thinking about, maybe I should have gotten that. Probably should have gotten two of those, one to drink out of the normal, you know, throughout the year, especially in October, spooky season. I'm gonna keep saying spooky season. And then one that's kind of like a backup in case it I dropped it or broke or started. If I use an abrasive sponge too much, I try to be kind of gentle on the color changing mugs when I clean them, but you know. Um, so that's probably what I should have done. Maybe two of those, the skull glass Nordic mug still, and then that, um, color changing ghosts glow in the dark mug would have been neat so but anyways uh yeah this is the witchy countdown and what i'm going to do is just kind of show you the outside of this box i'm gonna do a separate video for this with, with spoilers and everything and i'm gonna link to it it's gonna pop up i think on the left yeah over here it's gonna pop up over here link right there link in the description as well if you want to check out the video for the halloween countdown i'm going to go all into this open this up read about it talk about it you know Get, really get into it spoilers and everything so check out the video on that just make that a separate video if you want to see more of that right now i'm just going to kind of show you the box you see that and on the back it has oh it's got some uh okay i'm not going to say anything about it i'm check out that video if you want to see more about it but it's got some teas in here and some other items and it just says the description right here says when ghouls goblins and ghosts ring at your door you know it's going to be a fun night we've brought together our most spectacular teas infusion and premium well, we're gonna get into that. Ghost stories not included. I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna keep it like that just in case it's for spoilers. For people who wanted to get this and they wanna be surprised, I'm not gonna say anything else about it. But if you wanna know more about this countdown, check out the video. And this was $22 for this one. And yeah. And that's it for the Halloween items. They have other Halloween items on the website, of course, but that was it for my order right there. But let's jump into what else I got here. And I had a free reward. Well, actually I had like three of them, but I used one of them on this order right here. And I got the Baohao Yin Jin, which sometimes I refer to as Baohao Yin Zen purposefully and um, accidentally, I think, because Zen. I just, I don't know, I see Z 
H E N, and I just automatically, of course, want to say Zen, but Bao Hao Yen Jin. And this is one of their more expensive teas. It's $24.98 to what it retails at. And this is a nice tea right here. I did a review on this one, so check out the links for that one in the description and up there if you want to know more about what I think about this one. But obviously, spoiler alert, I like it because I did order it again. But sometimes, you know, you order, you, you may not even, you may not like a tea and you order it again just to see if your palate has changed, if the blend has maybe changed or something like that. So I guess it really isn't a spoiler because I could have just ordered it again even if I didn't like it. But I already told you that I liked it. So, but to find out what I think about it more, so check out the review on that. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I don't have any more. Drink all that a while ago. So, kind of resupply on that one and a resupply on this as well. So, um, I have 10 ounces of cherry berry punch. Oh, what? Uh, is this all really too? Oh, I have something else too. Oh, okay. I was like, hold on, not all of these are very, very fun. Okay, these are each two ounce bags. As you see, five of these things right here. And the price on this was per two ounces, it was $2.96 per two ounces. So for 10 ounces, it was $14.80. Yes. Um, so yeah, if you want to know more about what I think specifically on Cherry Berry Punch, Check out the link on that one up there and in the description. But obviously, as you can tell, probably I liked it, I guess. You know, uh, 10 ounces more, I guess. This is one of my favorite iced tea blends right here. One of my favorite blends to have iced. And since I ordered 10 ounces of Cherry Berry Punch or 10 ounces of any tea, if you order 10 ounces of the tea, you get a mega 10. Oh yeah, it was in plastic. I just kind of unveiled it in the box. Yeah, so look at that thing. That's a big 10. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm trying to think. I don't think I don't have a mega tin. I have several of the. Is there one? Other? I don't know if there's one over there. I can't really see. Oh no, there's not one over there. But here's one over here. Um, this is the regular tin, and this is the mega tin. <laughs> mega 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 tin. You know, <laughs> like Mega Mind. You know that? There's a movie, and that was the song in it. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is, I'm just gonna leave. Certain things, you should be surprised at the things I cut out of these videos. Cause I'm like that, it was just a really nerdy, dorky or odd or not funny thing to say. Or Avery, why are you talking? Some stuff I'm just keeping in, you know, I just keep it in. So <laughs> that shit anyways. Uh, yeah, this is the big 10, let's measure it. <laughs> Top to bottom, in the height, little shy of seven inches right there. And across, got pretty much almost four inches right there. And inside, I'm trying to think how much this holds. Does it say how much it holds? This has to hold. I mean, look, this holds your the regular tin in it comfortably with room. So yeah, this can hold a lot of tea. And I'll put it up in the um, bottom of the video. You'll see how much it actually, how much it says it holds on the website. Because I'm not sure exactly what it, how much it says it holds, but I'll put it up down there on the bottom. And just for purposes of contrast, I mean, you see the size wise. Height on the regular tens, pretty much five inches right there. And on the width, pretty much almost three inches right there. So yeah, there's definitely a difference. And uh, yes, yeah, a big 10. And one of these, a couple of these tens I use for organizations for pens and pencils. Like my oldest son went through this thing where he was like really into mechanical pencils and was just, oh, when we go somewhere, oh, what a mechanical pencil. Oh, and we wouldn't just buy them, buy them, buy them every time or something like that. But he'd be like, oh, surprise. I know you like these mechanical pencils you want it. Even for Christmas, I think in his stockings, one or two years, I had some mechanical pencils with other things, you know. Yeah, so <laughs> that's one way I organize some of those. But anyways, <laughs> and we have one more tea. Oh yeah, I guess I said the other teas can be like Halloween thing. Bai Hao Yin Jin, I don't really know how you can make that name Halloween related. Cherry Berry Punch, you could put like Scary Berry Punch and actually put it in like a big bowl, it'd be like a cauldron or something and like have that at a Halloween get together or something. So cherry berry punch could be Halloween theme. And next up anyways, here we got Blood Orange Earl Grey. Look, I don't even have to change the name for that one. It's blood in it. Halloween themed, right? So Blood Orange Earl Grey. I have not had this one yet from Davis T. I'll sell two ounces, $5.49. And in one, well, I guess I should tell you the ingredients of the other teas, but right now I'll tell you the ingredients of Blood Orange Oral Grey. Blood Orange Oral Grey, it is an, it's an organic blend, so everything's organic. We've got black tea, orange peel, rose hip, hibiscus, calendula petal, 
natural bergamot orange tangerine flavoring right there. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I like Earl Grey's and I like what the different takes sometimes on Earl Grey's that different companies do, you know, like this kind of Earl Grey or this kind of Earl Grey. So a blood orange Earl Grey, that's gonna be interesting right there. And two dots on the caffeine scale, medium caffeine. And let's go over the ingredients real quick. Baja Yanjin is just a plain white tea, silver needle white tea. It is a high grown white tea from the mountains of the Fujian province in China. That is Baja Yanjin. Nothing else in it right there. One of pure plain teas. Yeah, I drink a lot of blends, but I also drink a lot of plain teas, plain matcha. So in cherry berry punch, we've got black tea, apple, hibiscus blossoms, candy pineapple, which is pineapple and sugar, natural cherry and pineapple flavoring, raspberries, and stevia extract. And it is a one on the caffeine scale. So it has one dot for the caffeine scale. So low caffeine for cherry berry punch. Baha Yanjin has three dots on the caffeine scale. So it has a high caffeine rating. Tea makes me very excited. It relieves me of stress, all the different things going on in the world. Just been doing a lot, but tea brightens the mood every time for me. Drinking it, brewing it, steeping it, making it, unboxing it. Yes, it's just great. So that is it with the unboxing of my most recent Davis Tea order. Check out the links for more details on some of those teas and for the Halloween countdown if you wanna know more about it. I hope you all enjoy that cup of tea you've got or that skull full of matcha. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy what you got going on there. Taking care of yourselves, taking care of those around you. Have an awesome day. Cheers. Take care.